Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Whimsical Valentine's Day collection from the brand Whimsical Ideas by Pam. These are available right now in the description box. I will link the Whimsical Facebook page, I will link their Instagram page, I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video, and then I will leave Pam's email down there. She doesn't have a traditional site that you go to and order from. The way her ordering system works is there's a list of polishes that are actively available on her Facebook page. Um, and then you shoot her an email, which is why her email's down there, telling her which polishes you're interested in. She invoices you via email, and then you pay, and then she ships. So no traditional site, but that's why her email's down there instead. So we do have six new whimsies to look at today, and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Bedtime Story, and this one is a clear base glitter, and it's got a bunch of different sizes of periwinkle glitter mostly, and then it's got some shredded kind of deeper eggplant purple glitter. What I like to do with my Whimsy glitter polishes is layer a few coats on its own and then show it as a topper. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This layers beautifully as a standalone polish if you like a visible nail line. And if you don't and you do want this full coverage, you could definitely sponge it on for full opacity. But I do think I personally prefer this one as a topper. This is glitter, so it is gonna take some manipulation to get it spread out evenly across the nail. And it's also gonna take a pretty significant amount of time top coat. That being said, it's also going to be difficult to remove. You pay the price for glitter because it's so daggum beautiful, but there are one in three coats. So up next we have I Heart You, and this one is another clear base glitter. This one has more of the softer kind of lavender glitters again both big and small and this also has a couple of like fuchsia -y pink colored glitters and then purple lavender heart glitters in a clear base again i'm going to show you what it looks like on its own for that visible nail line look in three coats and then i'm going to show it as a topper this is a very dainty polish so whatever you layer it over kind of has to be like a contrasting color. Otherwise you might lose some of them. I did pick, I'm only saying that because I picked a base color that's not gonna really show this one to its full cuteness potential. All that being said, it is glitter. You want top coat and removal will require scrubbing. Up next we have In the Pink, and this one is a soft pink jelly base, and it's got red, pink, and purple glitters in a couple different sizes and shapes. I love me a jelly polish. This is so cute, so fun, so squishy, so Valentine's Day. Formula is excellent, no running, pulling, or staining, and these glitters come out very easily, and they do spread out very easily across the nail as well. Two to three coats for full coverage. I was happy with two, but I could still make out just a faint hint of nail line. So if that bothers you, you might want three. This is glitter, so it'll take some serious top coat and removal is difficult. Up next, we have putting on the Ritz, and this one is a clear base glitter, and it's got black, white, and this kind of like almost beige glitter. It might be white, but I'm seeing it as a different color than the white glitter that I do see in here. So this also has some flower glitters. This is a polish that Whimsical has released before. However, it has been reformulated and changed just a little bit. These flower glitters don't come out super easily. So if you want them, you might want to fish form and place them, but it is such a fun combination of glitter. Again, I'm showing you three coats on its own, and then I'm going to show it as a topper as well. I do really love it over this it's actually like a smoky gray blue color, but it read really, really bright on camera. You know what? Top coat and removal is difficult. Next we have Romantical, and this is the topic of the collection for me. This is a clear base glitter, and it's got a bunch of white glitters primarily, and then it's got these white kind of thicker bar glitters, and then red glitter as well. Formula is excellent, great glitter to base ratio. This isn't one that's gonna build up to full coverage on its own without sponging. So if you don't like visible nail line, you might wanna sponge it or use it as a topper, but I truly loved this in two coats on its own. And I also really, really loved this one as a topper. 
again it is glitter so you are going to want kind of a thicker glitter eating glossy top coat to smooth this out or you could use a glitter smoother underneath your regular top coat if you have one available all that being said this is also going to require some scrubbing to remove because it's glitter so there are one in three coats of romantical And lastly for today we have Tortitude and this is probably the other top pick of the collection for me. I was actually surprised at how much I loved this polish but this is another clear base glitter primarily made of browns, nudes, that beige colors up in here again. We've got this like really beautiful copper glitter that's amongst these matte glitters and it really just makes for such a beautiful combination and then there's also a black glitter as well. This does build up really nice on its own. Again, I didn't get full coverage in three coats. You can sponge it on to get that look, but I also really, really like this one on its own and as a topper. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but it's not difficult to work with whatsoever. You'll want some top coat to smooth everything out, add some shine, longevity purposes. This is also glitter, so it is gonna require some scrubbing to remove. I like to soak a cotton ball in acetone and let it sit on my nails with nail polish clips for just a couple minutes to soak off my glitter polishes. So if you struggle to remove glitter, that is a very nice and easy way to do so. And here's a look at the full collection. I really like Whimsical's clear base glitters. She does really beautiful glitter combinations. The formulas are always really, really good. Everything in this collection screams spring to me. I see a couple really beautiful Valentine's Day polishes and I think these are gorgeous. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.